Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights This is our current nursery situation. <laughs> it's pretty chaotic, as you can see. And Matt is moving his computer stuff so that it's not in the baby's room because he's so sweet. So we're doing that tonight. And then eventually, we also have to move Genevieve. We think we're gonna put her whole tank and the stand and everything into the guest bathtub <laughs> because nobody really uses it. And clean it. And clean it, yeah, because it's gross. Small apartment um, Woes. solutions, <laughs> hacks. Well, solutions, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it's still very messy, but we are making some progress as far as the layout goes. So this will get moved this weekend, and that's where the crib is gonna go. And then this art situation is very temporary. I just wanted to stick something up there. We've got our little glider and our side table, fiddle leaf, and then this will hold all of his like books and toys. Um, but right now it's just got a bunch of random crap on it. And then this is gonna stay Matt's closet. Um, and we're trying to figure out how to store his desk chair when he's not gaming. So this is our final progress of night one. I feel like honestly, <laughs> This is way better than I thought it would be at this point. We still have all the crib stuff over here. Um, and some miscellaneous like baby clothes and the whole turtle tank situation needs to get taken care of. But I mean, once that's done and we have the crib up, then I can start like actually decorating because I just threw a bunch of stuff up on the walls to make it look less empty for now. Of course, you did a very good job tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to find places to hang you. Yeah, our closet space is uh, now Matt's <laughs> gaming area. I know the lights aren't on. You want to turn the lights on? No. and it's the Ikea Sniglar crib. I'm slightly worried that it's gonna be too short, um, but we got it secondhand on Facebook Marketplace, so it's not a huge monetary loss if it is, but I'm hoping it works because I really like the just like unfinished beech wood of it. I think it's really cute. So this is the crib. I have to go in with some lemon essential oil and get all of the like warning sticker marks off of it. And obviously we have to get a crib sheet and stuff to decorate this wall. But yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. I like it. I think I like it's good. That it was free. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've shown this already, but I threw some of my <laughs> stuffed animals up here and this little toy train that I got for him, so I'll have to do the top and the bottom still, but it's coming along. Pro tip, if you guys didn't know, lemon essential oil on a paper towel or like a rag um, will take off sticker goo, so that's what I'm gonna do now so that it's nice and clean. Okay, so the crib is all put together and this is actually starting to look like a functional nursery, which is really exciting. It's like really bland right now because there's no color because I have to actually, you know, decorate it and do all of that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys where we were at kind of at the end of the day today. So same situation over here with the bookshelves and the chair and this bookshelf over here and my little fiddle leaf fig. And you've got the glider 
changing table slash dresser and our crib. I really like the crib. I definitely don't think it's too short at all, even though I was worried about that. Um, I actually think I'm gonna put this orange garland above the crib and then do like some shelving and some mirrors up here. Um, but what I really can't wait for is to get like the crib sheet and probably a blanket for the back of this and some curtains so we can get some color going in here because it's very beige right now. So yeah, I think instead of like waiting um, until I have everything to decorate it, I'm probably just gonna do it like as it comes in. So the next time I have a piece to add, I will check in with you guys and I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's a Sunday now. Um, the last time I checked in with you, actually I think it was yesterday maybe. Anyways, um, we grabbed our um, jute rug that I got from Anko out of storage and we're gonna put it in here now and hopefully it works and Matt's being a dork. What are you doing? <laughs> I love you. Oh, now I want donuts. Why would you say that to me? Donuts. I'm pregnant. You are pregnant and cranky. I'm not cranky. <laughs> no, do my rug. <laughs> do you want me to like, what can I do? Uh, I just want this to be completely out of the way. Whee! <laughs> that was actually pretty Dang cool. It. It's huge. You were worried about it being too small. Yeah, actually, it, it looks great. It's a good size. There's so much brown and beige in this room. I wanted neutral. <laughs> You're so stinking cute. Tell me a story. Once there was a boy named Matt. He was the cutest thing in the whole world, and I loved him forever. The end. Oh yeah, I put the stool back. Oh okay. Or whatever you call it. Are we call it an ottoman. Uh, yeah. It's not technically an ottoman, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it? You're thinking of a storage ottoman. Oh, what's the best kind of ottoman? No, the best kind of ottoman is one that we got for cheap on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Yay! I think it looks cute. It's good. It's hard to like get it on camera. I need that iPhone wide angle. Yeah, it's coming along. Do you want it closer? The thing closer to the chair? Yeah, probably a little. So, this is what we've currently got going. I want that to be like whiskey or something. Oh, so I have to swap out the decorations up here with the shelving and mirrors and stuff that I want. And then put that up there. And yeah, just do all the other miscellaneous actual decorating. But this is like the first piece of the actual decorating that we're doing, so that's exciting. Hey guys, long time no see for me, anyway. Um, we got back from our baby moon a few days ago. It was in Kauai and it was so much fun. Um, so I'm just having a super chill work from home pajamas day today, but I just got in um, some of the wall art that we ordered for the nursery and we've done a few other little things. So I wanted to kind of give you guys an update and show you what we've done. So we're a little messy right now, but we started putting up the wall art. Um, so this is just like a six inch by six foot common board that we cut and used these cheap brackets from Lowe's. These are less than $2 each. And I've got some prints coming in for there, um, but that's not what came in today. Um, I also ordered this super cute little woody car with this magnetic surfboard, since we're doing kind of like a coastal beachy boho theme um so that's going to be there then the accordion shelf is going to be right there and then there's going to be a big round name sign like a wooden one over on the right side then i hung up this super cute macrame plant hanger um, with these big like wooden details that i got from ikea don't have a plant for it yet I will work on that shortly. And then this area above the crib um, is where the prints that I got today are gonna go. Also, I just need to take a second to acknowledge all of the cute little baby stuff that we're starting to accumulate. So these are the prints. Um, I ordered the digital downloads of these on Etsy um, from a store that I just found that I am up obsessed with so i will link it in the description because they have the cutest prints in like a ton of different styles so we got these ones and then we got two more that are like photographs um but these are like more cartoony style i don't know how well you can see the pattern um but it's a little sun and waves and then the other one's a little rainbow um and i don't know if i already said these are 16 by 20 i think i did um but yeah those are gonna go up there so that's what i'm gonna do right now 
How do I get this? Oh, it's just a whole, it's a whole thing. There we go. Ooh. Satisfying. Looks like there's one on the back too. Try not to get my fingerprints all over this. Okay, wait, how is this other one set up? No, this is, okay, this is right. I'm doing it right. Okay, I think that turned out so cute. The only problem is that the plastic part is so shiny that it reflects the window. So I might need to look up, I don't know, do I need to just not put the front piece in? I don't know, but they look really cute. And don't worry, we will be securing them with a ton of like command adhesive and all kinds of stuff before he actually starts sleeping in here. Oh, the other thing I forgot to show you that we got was this little wooden, VW bug. This is actually supposed to be a birdhouse and I got it from Michael's for like $7 um, and I definitely need to sand it down because right now I feel like it would give you splinters but I thought it was so cute. So the bookshelf is coming along. We just need to get the train out of the box and then decorate the bottom part which is currently just clothing storage. So yeah, that's all the progress that we have made so far. It is exactly three and a half months today until baby's due date, so we still have quite a bit of time to finish everything up. Um, but I'm really excited, it's really coming along. And yeah, um, I think the next time I see you guys will probably be when we put up the rest of the wall art and get the crib sheet in there. And then we're gonna be done. And then I'll do a little tour. I'll see you guys then. Well, hey guys, long time no see. Um, it's mid-April now. Um, and I haven't really checked in because I haven't really done too much to the nursery, but today's a very exciting day because I have the rest of the stuff I think that I need to complete this. So we're going to put the crib sheet on, we're going to style the shelves. I have to be kind of careful about what I show you because like I mentioned earlier, we have some like name signage for him and it's up now and it looks so good and I can't wait till I can like actually share it with you. Um, but I'll be styling the little shelves, um, doing some little miscellaneous stuff like putting a throw blanket on the uh, like glider that we have and adding plants um, and that's gonna be it. So this is the crib sheet that I got. It's like a light orange and it has little suns on it. Um, and the brand is Brixton Phoenix for anybody who's curious and I got it at What Little Wonder. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put this on his little crib. Oh, and please excuse all of this. These are all of the packages that people have very kindly sent us for our baby shower, which is next weekend, so I can't peek at them. There's a guy in a golf cart waving at me outside of my window. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are just gonna be in here. They're not in here permanently. Let me show you. So we're doing a virtual baby shower, obviously, with all of the COVID craziness. Um, so we got some stuff to like put in the background of the little like live stream we're gonna do. So I got, this little mat from Gather, which is so cute and will also be like his changing mat in the diaper bag when we're done with it. And then I got these little like Mylar balloons that say, oh baby. So I'm gonna put those like over the mat. I think it's gonna be really cute, but that's not what we're doing today. Let's do what we're doing today. <laughs> with these shelves right now. If you guys remember from, I'm so low, I'm so short. Um, from a few like clips ago, I had these frames and the artwork finally came in. So I'm just gonna stick those up there. They're so cute. I feel like that needs something. I'm gonna add a plant. Oh, this will actually be really cute because the hearts will like dangle down. And then I've played around with styling this before, but I haven't really loved the way that it came out. So we're gonna do it all again, just from scratch. I know I wanna hang up some of his cute little clothes. This little onesie that I made. And then I'm thinking, this is cute. Maybe here. 
I made this little rainbow toy, which I think is so cute. Stick that somewhere. There maybe. Got a little hat. And another toy. Need one more thing, I think. A pacifier maybe. There. Yeah. That's cute. Actually, I'll show you. I have this little basket that I got at the Target dollar section. It was $5. Um, and right now I've just got like a bunch of little pairs of socks in it. I don't know what it'll actually hold, but it's kind of cute. So I think I'm just gonna leave it out like right here. The other thing about the dresser situation is we registered for a um, like changing basket from Design Dua, I think is maybe how you pronounce the company name. Um, so if we get that slash if we don't get it, we'll just buy it. Um, that's gonna go on the other side of the dresser, but I can't show you that right now because again, <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> I think next I'm gonna add some plants and a throw for the back of our glider and that's pretty much it. That's the golf cart that, that guy who was waving to me was in. This also has his name on it. <laughs> Also pulled this little train out of its box. It's so cute. This is from Target. It's like from the Hearth and Hand collection from Christmas and we got it on clearance. So adorable. Oh, I also just took the plastic out of these to make them less shiny. I think it's way better. All right, so I think that that's the end of this video. I wish I could show you guys more and do like the full reveal. If you wanna see everything all together, please make sure to subscribe because I promise I will do a nursery tour as soon as we announce his name. Thank you guys for watching. This is gonna be such a special video to look back on. I was editing some of the footage last night um, just to kind of try to get ahead of it and I couldn't believe where we started with how this room looked versus how it looks now. It really looks like a nursery and it's so sweet and it's getting me so excited for baby boy to come. I'm really, really happy that I got to share it with you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Quick little 30 week bump shot. He's gonna be here so soon, you guys. <laughs>